A year ago, poet James Morley Morehead, who is the poet laureate of Dublin, California, across the bay, he was sitting in the audience here, this is exactly a year ago, gazing at these windows during the concert. And he composed a poem about the windows and about how the light changed and the prison, sometimes there's prisons on the wall, the light comes through, we can see shadows now, and how it changed during the concert as the day got longer. So I, James is here today, and I'm going to ask him if he would like to read that poem that he wrote about these stained glass windows. It appeared, it is published on our concert page of the Interfaith Center at the Presidio website. And there are, there is a photograph there showing the prisons on the wall. I recommend you look at it, it's beautiful. James Morgan. So I'm just thrilled to be here, thrilled to work with Dion Price and the wonderful musicians. My parents are both retired musicians out in Canada watching the live stream. When you're a retired musician, it means you still do as much music, you just get paid less. Which I'm sure they're laughing at now. So I was inspired by this poem on a very sunny day. Today's not so sunny, which I think this poem is appropriate for giving you a sense of what it would be like if it were sunny. It's such a wonderful space acoustically, it's a wonderful space visually. And I'm impressed at the turnout, despite the incredible weather we've had in the Bay Area. Very wet. Flickering through stained glass. In late afternoon, sunlight still a brilliant flame, wind blown and flickering through falling leaves and stained glass. Prismed rays caress the soprano, her echoes soaring, each breath ethereal in the dancing light, until sun's retreat, darkness ever waiting for stealing hues from colored glass. Its shadows grow and she fades, her song once reds and golds, now muted grays. A breathless pause. Her last note falls among the shards, swept away into the night. <laughs> 